Hey folks, welcome back. Today it's about Plug Data again, which just released in version 0.8. It's the latest stable version. There are a lot of new features in there. And if you want to download it, just use the link in the description below, head over to the download page and download here the executables for Windows, for Mac OS and for Linux. And there's one particular feature in there, which I really like, and that's the possibility to export clap plugins or VST plugins from your pure data patch, which is really neat. I want to show you how this works here. So we have some kind of track here running in the background and we just insert here a plug data instance, plug data FX. There's no patch in here already. So we create a new patch. Just click on that new patch. And we need here an audio input two channels, right? And an audio output. And we want to use a multiplication operation here in between to change the volume in, out, duplicate. And yeah, that's just a simple patch here to change the volume. All we need to do now is to insert here a knob to change the volume actually, actually to have some kind of interface to it, right? So we connect this here. And we go to zero and uh, maybe two or three so we can amplify the signal. So one would be the original volume. Uh, so that's that. Let's bring this back up here. So you can change the volume just with this knob, a simple very or very simple patch in pure data. So now you want to export this as a VST plugin. Um, the first problem is you have to understand that you can't export um, GUI elements. You can't export a VST or CLAP plugin with a GUI. You have to add this for yourself, maybe with a, a multi-platform GUI wrapper or something like Juice or something like that, um, because it's not that easy to you know, make a GUI for all different platforms just from an, within one plugin. Maybe it's possible in the future that we can export here these simple uh, GUI elements from plug data itself, but at the moment it's not possible. So um, you can only export GUI less um, VST plugins. So that's the, that's the big downside of this, right? So when you put this here into plugin mode to head over here to this uh, hamburger menu, you can use the compiled mode. And this one gives you a hint what's not possible. So this one, this element here is not supported as you can see it here in the console warning object knob is not supported in compiled mode. So we can't use that when we want to export a VST plugin. So we have to remove that and we have to use something different. And you can use something like here, these automated parameters. So you add one, you call this maybe volume. And this one here, this is basically exported here already to plug data, as you can see here, as a volume parameter or as a automation parameter you can use. And you have to connect this basically to your input here. And you do this by receiving data on exactly this address here called volume and you specify here some kind of argument which is called hv which stands for heavy heavy is basically the library for plug data that exports the patch from pure data to uh, uh, to some target um, builds right so we use heavy um, and heavy param stands for parameter of course to make sure the compiler knows what to do with that. Uh, so we put this here in there and we have now an exposed parameter here, which, which is called volume. So instead having this knob GUI interface element in here to change the volume, we expose this as a parameter for the VST plug in itself. And we can change now the volume here. Okay, so far so good. And because we uh, used here this argument HV param, the compiler knows this is some kind of value that needs to be exposed uh, for the VST plugin as an automation parameter, right? 
So all you have to do now is to use, uh, instead of using the compiled module, you can switch this off. You can go to compile. And when you open up this um, model here for the first time, it probably uh, wants you to download some tool chain uh, libraries and it does that for you. All you have to do is basically click OK and it downloads, uh, I think, uh, 750 megabytes of uh, stuff in the background uh, that it needs to compile that stuff for you on your PC. It's basically the same thing as I showed you in the rainbow video about Max. But with Max, you can export VSTs by uploading your source code or your patch to the servers uh, and then they download the binary for you. And you need to lo a login, you need uh, a subscription to do that. Here, everything happens on your PC. It's compiled in the background on your PC. You don't need to log in, you don't need a subscription. Everything works just with free uh, and open source software. So here is the compiler. We can export C++ code. We don't need to do that. We also don't want to export you to ElectroSmith. I don't know what what that is exactly. Uh, then we have your DPF audio plugin. That's what we need. And we can say uh, patch the export to current open patch. That's what we want to do. There's a project name. We don't have a name here exactly at the moment for our PD file. So we use it, man. Use it, use a name here, maybe volume uh, knob or just volumizer or something like that. I don't know. Copyright, maybe your name. Then we want to export to binary. We don't want to export to source code. You can do that too. So if you want to maybe open it up in juice later on or in uh, some kind of um, IDE to change the code, you can do this too. But we want to export here a binary and we want to export here an audio effect, not, not an instrument or custom. We want to export an effect. And there's no MIDI input. There's no MIDI output. And we only want to export instead of LV2, VST2, we want to only export VST3 and maybe clap, right? So all we have to do now is to hit export and choose here a, li um, a, f a folder. And I create here a new one on my desk and call it a volumizer. And there's a problem with that. Don't use spaces in your folder descriptions. I run into problems with that because it then takes the last name after the space and tries to use it as a parameter for the uh, compiler. So just use simple words here. Um, volumizer with S or with Z. Uh, let's take it this, this way. Um, choose the folder. And then it exports basically everything uh, from your patch to this directory. And we go to the desktop, go over to volumizer here. And you can see it's still exporting, export successful. And then we are left here with the clap file, which is a clap plugin and with the VST3 plugin, right? So now we can close here this thing. We can even remove the plug data uh, plug in here. Maybe I mute this. And then we can use here the clap plug in and just drag this in. And then we have our volumizer here. You can change the volume with that. So it's actually really simple to make uh, GUI less devices, VST plugins, uh, CLAP plugins, LV2 plugins, just with plug data, which is really nice and neat. Um, VST is also in here. I can drag this in, as you can see, it just works exactly the same. It even has a name volumizer. You can see at the top, it's a VST3. This one is a CLAP plugin. And that's completely binary. So it's fast and um, yeah, like I said, it's a real, real native plugin, just exported from plug data uh, within seconds. And there's no coding involved, nothing. Only downside is that you don't have a GUI. Maybe there's something in the future they can, can do to export simple elements. Like I said, this would be really great. Uh, but at the moment, it's not possible. 
Uh, but at the same time, it's completely free, it's open source, and it's a fast way of, you know, realizing um, real native plugins uh, with just some pure data patching, which is nice. So if you want to try this out for yourself, like I said, head over to plugdata.org. Link is in the description below. Head over to download, download plug data, use it in your door, patch some things, uh, export it at VS, as a VST and have some fun. So that's my, that's my mantra. <laughs> also make sure maybe to go over here to plug data on GitHub. The link is also in the description and use the sponsoring button here to um, support this project, which is a really great project and I hope it has a bright future. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video, leave a subscription. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.